Hello everyone, so I think we all know what time it is. It's time for the wall to glitch. Agnes has officially gotten out of bed. It's gonna pause for a second. And Agnes, what are you gonna do? I'm just gonna exit the mode because it's driving me slightly insane. The sharp corner. Yep, here we go. Agnes, we have all the notifications to go through. Are you pregnant, girlfriend? Because we just got the pregnant noise. Yep, you are, girlfriend, okay. She has the next four days off as maternity leave. Well, welcome to Plum Bob Cubed. My name is Grace, and this is the Master and the Brawler. We are here with Agnes with her little scowly face, trying to know what her stance is about children. It's not positive right now, but let's have her go to bed, and we'll see what happens in the morning. Connor has a wish to have a girl. Oh, that's so cute. And during the night, we also have a newborn being named Run Letter V for a boy. My immediate response is Victor. I want something with a little bit more flavor. I kind of like the spelling of this name. I'm just going to pronounce it Vahe because boy, do I love Spanish pronunciation when I have no clue how to say a name. <laughs> oh my gosh, look who popped the question. Our good friend Gobias Coffee gladly... Blair Wainwright's answer was yes, because frankly, it makes a much happier announcement this way. I have an idea then. Vita wants to go on a date with Gobias, so honestly, I feel like she would try to wreck that engagement just for fun. She's, she is an evil sim. Jared, I need you to wake up because there's a crying baby who is hungry and misses socialization. And one thing that I did that I'm pretty sure I brought up last time. Not necessarily in the Brawler and the Mas Brawler. The Master and the Brawler, that's what this is called. But rather, the Lepacy is downloading more toddler interactions and more baby interactions. So now we have that. So just clicking on the crib, we were able to check on him. I saw that for a second. But now we have Talk To, Rock, Kuat, Babe, which reminds me a lot of like Sims 4 interactions which I think is cool. Like if we could have the amount of interactions that Sim 4 has for babies along with like movable babies, that's a really good combination in my opinion. And I think the Sims 3 gives that, especially with this mod. If I reset, we also have probably have more interactions if I wasn't, you know, on her. But we can talk to, snuggle, sit and feed, play, cuddle. And Jared has a faithful reputation. And so does Vita. I was also ovulating right now. Well, Agnes, oh, Agnes wants pregnancy too. It says, oh joy, Agnes is overwhelmed with the light of a new life growing within. They absolutely cannot wait for their child to be born. Ah, that's so cool. Jared, how do you feel about children? I wanna know. You want kids too, okay. Vita, are you the odd one out here? Do you, how do you feel about kids? Indifferent. Okay, that makes sense for Vita. He's like, oh, I'll have them if it comes, but I don't really care. I also got deeper conversations as a mod. I am, quite frankly, a modaholic, but, you know, that's a me problem. And from the sounds of it, Irisa is also awake. Oh, and Vita's awake. Okay. And Jared's just hanging out with a baby. The baby is good. So actually, I'm gonna pop into buy mode because I got some things from the store. For example, the swinging baby thing. For our Irisa stuff, we're just gonna put it out here. We have this playpen and this walk motor, which teaches her how to walk, even though Sherry can do that. And of course, we have the baby carriers, which we can also take out. We'll just get the basic ones for this family. And so now Jared can put Leon in the swing, and then, you know, he can go back to sleep, rest a little bit again. Vida is up and awake, and she also wants to earn a raise, which makes absolute sense. So today is a Tuesday, so she does not have work. Vita's going on a date today. So let's get Vita nice and ready. You know, she's gonna focus on getting herself pretty and ready for the day, and it's gonna be so much fun. What leftovers do we have? She's not gonna have cake to start off the day now. She is gonna start with some bread and jam. That sounds good. And then her needs will honestly be through the roof. Agnes has awoken. Miss Pregnant here. Oh gosh. We can find coupons because she's frugal? Yes. We can also apply for health insurance. Oh, and Agnes is about to age up in three days to an adult. Okay. Well, Agnes, your daughter's awake. So let's take care of your daughter. 
She has low bladder. So Agnes is going to come in and snuggle with her daughter. Probably cuddle with her. And I want to sit and feed Irisa. I want to see what that looks like. I'm very excited. Agnes does not have work, right? She doesn't have work because she's pregnant. Um, I'm just like, oh, she's pregnant. She's probably still going to work. That's my first thought. So where in this room do we have space for another crew? I know that we have it, but like the clutter here isn't exactly helping. We can hear Leon's little laugh. Oh, we should probably, you know, like turn it on. <laughs> oh, you have to turn it on manually. You know, just having him sit there is kind of cute. You know, that's all we need. Once Jared's awake enough, he can turn it on slow mode. Ah, oh, that's so cute. And actually, next week... Leon will also be aging up. Oh, you're talking to his little hands? Oh, that's so cute. I just like the more interactions. Okay, where are we going to feed this child? Are we going to go to this open space, this open space, this open space? Downstairs, of course. This open space? In the middle of the couches? No! To the kitchen as the open space. Okay. Oh, we're going to the fridge to get something. Vina wants to turn her child's swinging a thing onto fast which I know from this can make the sim nauseous, like the child's, the baby sim nauseous. But you know what, Vita? Go for it. Can we interact with Leon while he's in there? We can watch him, but I'm worried that anything else will take him out. Another thing that I have given a full thought to is that we need to get Vita some very important things. I remember last episode, we were talking about possibly doing basically like a club with our lovely scientist and our lovely military person. And here is the club board that I have been searching for. And so now I think Vita can go in and she can create a club. I want to click custom club and it's going to be with Aaron Kennedy and also Judy Bunch. Club scheduler, oh gosh, I know nothing if you can't tell. We have our club, right? What did I just do? Or do I have to like click as like Vita as the manager and then we can do edit club for her? Okay, see, I'm figuring things out. We should totally rename the club. Um, what should we name the club? Like taking over the world? I'm gonna say taking the world by thunderstorm. So I was like a little bit of that evil twist. Okay, thunderstorm does not fit. We're just gonna go with storm. That's fine. It's definitely not open invite. Club owner is Vita Alto. We'll just accept all this and now we can edit the club and also see club members. Okay, perfect. Perfect. We'll, we'll work with that later. And Vita, I also want her to check responses for her inappropriate post, of course. Not inappropriate, but trolling, right? And then I also want to make sure that we have an online bank. No one has replied to your forum post. Poor baby. Online banking is grayed out. I'm so weirded out by that. On her personal computer, I don't see it either. <laughs> I'm gonna have her get up and see if that affects anything. Yeah, now we can open account. Okay. Oh, we're supposed to be looking how the feeding goes. Oh, the feeding has them sitting on the couch. Oh, that's adorable. I got so caught up in Vita. I'm so sorry. Can you cuddle on the couch too? No, you cannot. Well, no matter what, that's absolutely adorable. And now Vita has set up her bank account, which I want to see if we can do any more special stuff with. I don't know. I feel like we're going to just have to put in her money when it comes. We'll figure it out. But now Vita, it is still 5 a.m. You you're not getting tired at all. Your needs are actually really good. So let's have you go do your favorite thing, which is peer out some telescopes. And Agnes is a little hungry. So once she's done with her child, she's, we can show the things to Irisa. Come Irisa, come look. And now Jared is getting out of bed. He is gonna take care of his needs, of course. And he does not have work today either. Does Connor have work? Connor's the only one who has work today. Poor thing. What do you guys think? Uh, show Irisa the playpen. Can you show Irisa everything? Yes, you can! Okay, put Irisa in the playpen. And she can do kind of whatever she wants. And then since Agnes is already up here, we're gonna have her take care of her needs. That evolve being up there. You know, she has to cook, right, for her job, so she can serve some waffles. Like, she needs a cooking skill, so we'll have her work on that. And Vita has opened her bank accounts. That is wonderful. 
I'm gonna save Connor's wish to read a pregnancy book because I think that's important to him. And then Jared, he probably just needs to eat a little bit, just have a quick meal. And then honestly, I kind of would like for him to talk to Vita. We can go to her and is there an option to like apologize or has that gone away? It looks like that's gone away, unfortunately. Oh, I've recessed Stinky. Agnes, before you cook, I need you to pick up Irisa. And the carpool for Connor is coming in about an hour. Connor, babe, you are getting up at just the right time. We're gonna need you to take a shower and we're gonna need you to grab that quick meal. We're out of food. We just have seeds. Uh, you know what? You're gonna have that <laughs> leftover stew surprise. We have taken her out and now we're gonna change her dirty diaper and then we're gonna put her back in. I'm hearing a cry from you. But it's just a happy cry, so that's good. Then Agnes, if I know the correct directions, do you still have... You can still make waffles. Okay, then we'll have Agnes continue to make waffles. Oh, with a new child on the way, Blair, Wainwright, and Gobias Coffee seemed a little shell-shocked. Well, we were planning on having some eventually, noted Blair. I guess sooner rather than later. Later, Gobias, on the other hand, had little to say and simply stared blankly at a nearby tree. As Jared continues to do the rest of the dishes, once he finishes, I'm going to have him go out to Vita. And I want him to try to, you know, he can just be friendly and he can ask about her day. Ready you two? You're going to talk. Come on, Jared. Socialize with your fiance. Like, hey, how did you sleep? Have you been okay? She'll ask him how he slept. And I think she honestly kind of wants to talk about her stars. She's like, well, you know, I've been out looking at the stars and that's been kind of fun. And Jared will be like, oh, okay, Tobias. That sounds oddly similar to someone else that we know. He wants to chat with Visa. So let's just have him do the regular chat interaction. Sorry, everything's moved around now. So now I'm like messed up. <laughs> I don't know how things are working. But Jared looks to be trying to like repair his relationship with Vita. You know, every day they kind of get in a fight. Jared's going to try to like talk about their wedding. Ask to clean up, no. I am a real sim, what do you think? I wanna respond. I am a real sim, what do you think? I feel so much better, I don't know. I actually want them to consider each other's attractiveness now that we have routine attraction. I'm not sure if we did this last time, but that seems kind of important to me. What do you call fish with eyes no with no eyes? Fish. The gnomes, they're alive. Okay, this is honestly kind of fun. And I think Jared's gonna Jared finds Vita also quite pleasant to the eyes. Seven out of ten. Agnes is gonna come out here, she's gonna continue her painting. Jared's gonna talk about their wedding. And I think Vita? Anything short of perfection for a wedding is hugely disappointing. What do you say, Jared? Jared says, you've got mail. Oh, that went badly. So Jared talked about our wedding and Vita was like, uh, yeah, you know, we can have that sometime. Filling up on sugary goodness makes everything more fun. Do you like it? Vita, accept. He's automatically flirting with her. Okay. She likes that. He, she's flirting with him. We're embracing. And Agnes is just over here like, hey, guys. And now Jared's going to try to take care of his child. Well, Vita, she, she got there later. I want Vita to go to Gobias, wherever he is in this list. And I want her to invite him out. Where do we want to take Gobias? Isn't there like a pond somewhere here? I want to take them to Crystal Springs Pond. Like, hey, Gobias, wanna go out? No, I'm not interested. How dare he? Gobias knows that we wanna like end his relationship and he's just like, no, I know better than to talk to Vita Alta right now. Like my partner's pregnant. I, I can't do that. Wow. Oh my God, there's already a baby inside the Kofi household. No one could stop us from stalking him. Vita, go here. I have an idea for this episode and Gobias Kofi isn't about to get in my way. Hi. Let's visit the household. Oh, hi, Blair. You're pregnant? Can't imagine. Is this a door right here? This is very transparent. Yeah, there's a little handle. Completely transparent door. Okay. There, Roger starts someone's at the door. Gobias is thinking about it and he's continuing to talk to Blair. They're just ignoring her. Wow. Vita, we cannot stand for this. 
And now he's turning on music. Go bias. What are you doing now, go bias? I swear, if you're about to get in the pool, the pool's outside though, right? It's fenced in. Oh, there's a gate. Okay, Vita, are we sure that you want this man? Honestly, I feel like she's, he's just making you wait for him and ignoring you after you showed up at his house without his consent. No, girl, this is, you deserve better. You deserve so much better. Vita, what do you want to do instead of, you know, obsessing over this man? Do you want to try to make friends, try to campaign? Literally anything than have him disrespect you. Well, imagine he doesn't like Vita stalking him. You know what? Vita can come home and she'll just be like, fine, I'll go on a date with my fiance. She's going to go home and she's going to flatter him. She's going to chat with him. And she's going to ask out on a date. Also, Agnes is getting a phone call. Agnes, can you please answer your phone? Agnes wants to woohoo with Connor. She also wants to buy a high chair. And those are her only two thoughts. Painting the city. Deliver paintings to City Hall. The city needs 15 paintings. So I'm going to go for it. All right, Vita. And Irisa, you can learn to talk in the playpen. Do you want to do that? Leon's enjoying it in the little rocker. That's nice. And Agnes is going to sleep again. Okay. Congratulations! Vita has improved her charisma skill to level 10! Socialite, smooth talker, charming companion. These are just a few of the phrases locals use to describe Vita. It's a hard, long road filled with good and not so good chats, but it's a never bad thing to know the exact things to say. I'm so strained between stuff right now. I need a day to relax, right? Listen to him. Be like, yeah, I'm also stressed. Okay, and now she's asking him on a day. And it's like, oh my gosh, wow, thanks for listening. That's going to be such a good way to relieve my stress. Awesome, I'd love to hang out. Where do you go for fun? Well, where do you two want to go? Now you have options. When, I know that The Sims love movies, so when's the next movie? 5 p.m. Damn. Are they going to tour the theater together? What else? Can they tour City Hall? No. Can they tour the hospital? That's pretty romantic. Can they tour the police station? <laughs> no, they can't. I know they can tour the science facility. You know what? But can they? Yeah, they can. Tour the science lab together. I think, honestly, Vita would be the one to suggest it. She'd be like, you know what? We should totally go to the science lab, wink, wink, hint, hint, and try to, like, check out, you know, what they're learning there, how she can possibly take over the world. Guys, are you getting in a car or a taxi? I swear, if it's a taxi. Okay, it's a car. And Agnes, I would actually love for you to get up and continue interacting with your daughter some more. If she is just learning how to talk from the playpen, that's kind of boring. So click on the playpen, pick up Irisa, and then you can teach her how to talk as you want to. Say hi, honey. Guess what? We're going to teach you to talk. Those two go toward the science facility. And Vita, of course, wants to watch a movie, the classic Wish. So we can have them do that. Oh, and they're going to teach a talk right here. Okay. I thought Agnes is trying to teach her how to talk about, you know, babies while she's still a baby. Oh, and Agnes wants to snuggle Irisa. Okay, that's adorable. I'm going to capture this moment. I'm just going to go in with that already. And we're going to make that teaching Irisa how to talk memory. Because I feel like we're going to get it really soon. So, Agnes helped Irisa babble through Goo Goo Gaga to effectively communicate with others. And Irisa is also going to have her memory. I wanted to show Agnes's face. And we have this small little gap right here where we can kind of angle it to have that, but just barely. I said that Irisa spent time with her mother learning how to ask for more toys. So when that comes through, we'll be all prepared and do not come home. I'm really good at clicking wrong buttons because we're about there. And I think we're just going to keep having them work on it until we have completed the skill. And I do want to like make sure that, oh, we have a funny now. Oh my gosh. We're, we can snuggle her once we're done, of course. And I just want to see how play works. And Agnes also, she needs to create her online banking account. It's important. Oh my god. And Irisa's understanding. Mommy's talking about spa day. And Irisa's like, I got you, girl. 
We got plus 400 for Leon, I suppose. A little sleeping baby who has the crib currently turned off. Agnes, once you're done with your daughter, put her back in the playpen, then open your account, and then you can go down and paint. I think that sounds like a good plan because these two on their little date over here are just about to get out. I love this glass roof that they have. Oh my gosh, I forgot the most important part. They have to do a risky woohoo while they're touring the facility. That's like the most important part. Yes. We need to have them have a little fun in there. Also, you know, they can make out together. What? Go bias is at work. So after they have their little woohoo, she can make out with go bias. I want to see how that goes. And Vita has a wish to talk to go chat specifically with go bias. I want to see this drama. Okay, they're woohooing. And then Vita's gonna try to sneak out to make out with Gobias. I want updates. Vita says it was a disappointing experience with a bad woohoo, but she had a public woohoo, so you know. Oh, she's walking out. Damn. Make out. I hope she made out in the chamber with Gobias. And Jared said it was a thrill ride. It was good, clean, fun. It was a public woohoo. He had a good time. Are you guys gonna do the stride of pride? Then I feel like he can go into his wife, was fiance, and he can flirt with her a little bit. Yes! All right, it says, aw, I recently just learned how to talk. Next up, getting a reason to stop talking. So we already have the memory set, because I was thinking ahead. Let's go. Vita. And tell us about your wedding with him a little bit. So like, yep, we're gonna have a wedding soon. I actually want to think about this in the terms of like the sims so tomorrow we're aging up little leon so i don't want to have a wedding then then vita is working wednesday tuesday and friday well jared's not working those days so i honestly think they might have a thursday wedding because vita gets off at two so they can just have their wedding at like four i think that might be what we go for and of course we're gonna have in the backyard because we still have the arch set up so let's just let these two interact let's see how they are together they're just chatting right now in front of the sim bot. After writing a wonderfully insightful story, Connor has won the Smitzer Prize for great reporting. Connor can enjoy the cash and the adoration from his co-workers. I just wrote a masterpiece. Did you like it? How are you going to respond, Vita? High five. Sure. He's thinking that he's a little Shakespeare. Oh, check you out. This could be fun. Let's go for it. With ring on this finger, vows and true love forever aren't far behind. What? No, don't exchange rings. Stop. Girl, how do I stop this? Why are you guys trying to get married right in front of the science center? What time is it when an elephant sits on your fence? Time to get a new fence. Okay, okay, if I go to mean, wh why can't I stop this? What? Why can't I have her run away from the altar? What? 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 In The Sims 2, we can run away. Accuse him of being inappropriate? I did not schedule this. You can't get married in front of the science center. Girl! You're the mayor. Jared Frio and Vita Frida are now married. They're given a few days to settle in. I'm gonna save Vita's wish to chat with Gobias. She's gonna be like, what do you mean? We just got married in front of the science center. And he's gonna, you know, mock her ambition. Be like, what do you mean? You got some issues. I'm not sticking around to deal with them. I'll warn you to stay away. I'm pretty grumpy right now. Stink mask perfume. Connor has left work. Stand back. I'm feeling nauseous. Ask her to behave. And Jared's apologizing. She is the one who started fighting you. What do you mean you just got married in front of the science center? So this is where I let you in a secret. I had a plan that if these two were to get married, that I was going to have Jared run away from the altar and be like, no, I found out that you're cheating. I'm running away. And that's why I was trying so hard to get these two to like stop getting married because I thought there was a runaway option. Jared's gonna listen to her mastermind plot, I guess, and think about her. And now he's arguing with her about money and she's gonna compliment him. Two television sets don't always provide the most pristine picture. What do you say? Are you okay? I, what? I'm so discombobulated right now. I didn't know I had like autonomous get married. 
Jared asks, are, are you okay? See, the options are words can simply not describe my displeasure when you're when in your presence. If this is your idea of fun, I'm out. And I'm feeling quite tranquil. Thank you very much. This has like the ellipses, so I'm gonna click that one. And he's insulting her? She's like, I'm tranquil. He's like, you smell like flies, circle you. She burped. This is your first and only warning, your drink stinks. Now Vita, what are you trying? You're, tr you're trying to talk about personal possessions and you're immediately, she's arguing with him now. And he's gonna mock her snobbishness. I'm just so disappointed in right now. I guess I expected more, you know? Honestly, Vita's gonna respond and say, what time is it? Shower time. With shower time showers, you'll never be stinky again. Okay, now fight, fight. Oh my God, she just set him on fire from a bad conversation. What? Jared, both of you are on fire from this bad conversation? And y'all are talking about menti breath. Boy, can you put yourself out? Run into the fountain. Yeah, you guys are on fire. This was so much. I don't want you guys to die. I need you to put out the fire. Okay, there's a lake, there's a lake, there's a lake. Go, why can't you run here? Go here. Oh my God. What? Okay, you know, Connor, can you come and put these sims out? Specifically your brother. Jared's gonna get that like telecommunication of that like younger brother stuff. Connor's gonna get that younger brother communication. He's like, I gotta put out my, my brother who, is on fire. You know, he could sense the emergency. And Connor paid $20 for a taxi. Can you not put yourselves out? You can't put each other out because you're both panicking because you're on fire. Oh my gosh. And you can't go into water. Connor, get here to put out your brother. What is happening? You're like aiming the fire completely, my guy. Okay, this is a much better hit. I just want to say that. How long is it gonna take you to get this butt fire out, Connor? Okay, you got it, you got it. Okay, you know, Vita, you can keep doing that. Connor's about to go read a book! Jared, do you wanna go to your brother and like, thank? Hug your brother. I honestly just kinda wanna let Vita keep burning. Like, like I don't feel like either of these two are really gonna put her out. I feel like Jared's gonna explain the situation. Specifically, Connor's gonna be like, well, I just put you out. Do you wanna like, tell me what's going on? I try to chat. And Jared's gonna be like, oh, she started fighting with me the second after we got married. And we started arguing. And she tried to kiss a guy in the makeout chamber. Not the makeup chamber, what's it called? We tried to make out with a guy while we were in the science building. And she got mad because I, we started getting married here. So, yeah, they're making fun of Boyd. Oh, but they're not getting along. Ew, stinky. Connor's gonna be like, relax, dude. I just got lit on fire. Oh, I'm feeling itchy, not good, right? Yeah, it doesn't feel good. Oh, they're gossiping. Both of them have to be into that. I heard Madison Van Watson acted quite rudely to LinkedIn. Oh, okay. Can you like hang out with Connor? Just like chat on the floor while you watch your wife die can she die from a butt fire if it's from a bad conversation contrary to popular belief being on fire is not healthy because it'll lead to symptoms including panic burns and death best to find some water quickly or yeah quickly for bad conversation gobias is like i don't see nothing i'm just going home gobias is like i'm a family man and he's just going and now vita is expiring she burnt to ashes in front of Judy Bunch, in front of these two. After we just made her club. How's Jared feeling? It hasn't registered yet. The Grim Reaper has come. Jared, talk to the Grim Reaper. Talk, talk to the Grim Reaper. Can't you beg for her life or something? And Judy Bunch was literally a friend. Judy Bunch is just staring at this ash pile like, okay. Jared, why can we not beg this man? To not reap her soul. We have no interactions with the Grim Reaper. Agnes completed a brilliant painting. Wow. Vita. Vita I can't click on. Jared, do you want to like beg? Be like, I was mad at her, but I didn't want her to die. Why can we not interact with him? Connor, can you interact with him? Connor's uncomfortable. Connor's like, well, there's too many people. There's one, two, three, four, five people here. Wow, that's so many. That's beautiful. Nothing to beg for her life. 
nothing. I mean, at least Vita's begging for her life. Like, Jared, beg for your wife's life. All Vita Frio's belongings have been moved to Connor Frio's inventory. Vita Frio has died on her. Pick up your wife's grave. And Connor's getting a phone call! Connor's mourning because he witnessed death. Aaron Kennedy would like to know if Connor wants to go on a date. No! And Jared's about to go read. I'm sorry, I'm in shock. Jared, do you want to, like, clean up your wife's ashes, I guess? Connor's just gonna go read. Okay. Oh my god. I mean, I knew that she would die if we didn't put her out. I knew that. But I also just kind of wanted to see. I'm in shock. Okay. Um, well, you know what? You two need to go home. That was a lot. Y'all are getting... And every... And all of Vita's stuff was put in Connor's inventory, even though he's not even her husband. But now Connor has a bank account. Nice. Agnes is mourning too. Iris is doing fine, and so is Leon. Jared, do you want to go upstairs to Leon and, like, talk to him and, like, rock him with everything that's happened? And Ag Agnes, you can chat with Irisa. Connor, I feel like after seeing that, he's gonna run upstairs and play with his daughter. He's now in Leon's family tree. His mother is dead, and it's like she never even dated Jared. Wow. He's like, so, so Leon, your mother died, and ill. And Agnes is trying to put the thing on slow speed. Agnes, this is not your moment. Go practice your speech in the mirror or something. He's gonna coo at Leon and be like, you're the only thing left I have of my wife who was cheating on me. Wow, this is wild. I feel like Jared's gonna put Leon in the crib then. And I have a question, does this mean Connor took over Vita's club? We don't know. Well then, Jared, um, I guess it's time to take your shower. And another thing that I know I got was religion. And so the sacred texts. And this is more like formal. I want the one where they take drugs. The Omayan, I believe. That's the text I want for him. I don't know where it is though. So you know what? We'll deal with that later. We'll deal with that in between episodes. Go take your shower, Jared. Jared's back to his regular self. He wants to listen to music. He's surprisingly elated because, you know, it's only 50 minus 50 move and having a blast is plus 40. Wow. You know, I need to take a second. So I'm going to pause and I'm going to eat and then I'm going to come back to finish this episode. Okay. Because I'm in shock too. I've thought for about a second and we got some things. So we can put Leon in this little thing that was custom content that I got. And we also got the Omahan religion mod I have. So I decided to try to put that in because I think that Jared with everything that's happened is probably going to turn more to religion because he's going to be like, how did this happen? Just that's how my brain is telling me. It's like make it a storyline, you know? We have time left in the day. So we can throw a party, fun fact. And in this party, in the Sims 3 base game, supposedly, we can just click check and we can choose a funeral party. No, we cannot, not base game. All right, then I guess we aren't gonna do that. Some people say it came with generations, some people say it came with base game. So I don't know. Is there an option to just cry in bed? No. Honestly, one way to deal with sadness fighting people. Do you want to return back to being the brawler? Baby, we can do that. No one is at the beach. There is Parker Langerak at the park. Go there, beat him up. And Connor wants to congratulate Jared on getting married after his wife basically immediately died. Yeah, that's in good taste, Connor. Oh, and Agnes has just learned the Christmas skill. Great. So, you look like something. Let's Chris has his family. Stand back. I am feeling nauseous. <laughs> well, you stink. Sims love to be around those <laughs> with minty breath. It sure beats the alternative. I'm just disappointed right now. We can immediately go to beat up. Honestly, fight? Yep. Yes. 
Let's go. You tell him, Jared. Oh, and they're going again. Honestly, he has the wish to beat up Parker again, so, you know. Oh, but it looks like Parker's in the lead that time. Damn. Oh, Parker's also mean-spirited. Let's respond to your stupid burp. Contrary to popular belief, being on fire is not healthy. I just always click the option that's, like, the worst one. Come on, let's be ext Thank you, firefighter. Thank you. How are we getting into such bad, two bad conversations that we end up, you know, being lit on fire? Like, that takes effort, right? I think Jared's gonna put out Parker, too. It's like, you know, we don't need another death today. Oh, that's Claire Ernstein right there. Oh, it seems like the firefighter's taking care of it. Jared can go up to Claire, and he can insult her. Oh, he specifically wants to insult her home. Well, you know, it's close enough. Come on, Jared. <laughs> Let's just... Be angry at the world. Oh, your fire isn't being put out. Oh, you're trying again. Okay, good. Say hi, ex-girlfriend. I'm going to insult you. And she's hot-headed. And you know, that's kind of similar enough. Stink mask perfume. Yeah, you need to take a shower. You know, I'm gonna say that's close enough to insulting her home. Oh, now we're making fun of Parker. She's like, yeah, I agree. Let's beat her up. He wants to be mean to her. Let's not respond. Because that seems to keep escalating things. All right. We beat her up. And now we just need to be mean to her one more time. So, you know, insult her once more. Oh, no. We already won. You know what time it is? Whatever. Whatever, Claire. Who cares? Oh, Parker got put out. That's good. He magically grew hair because of that. Who else can we fight? Could fight Victoria Andrews or Thornton. Have we thought Thornton? I feel like we might have. It doesn't look like it. Well, let's have a rude introduction. Jared's like, I'm tired, man. Are you about to collapse? Then you got time to fight. Well, Victoria's pregnant, okay. Say, hey, I don't like you. Argue with him. This was your first and only warning. Your drink stinks. Stay away, I'm grumpy. Being on fire is not healthy. Yeah, no, we're not, we know what that one leads to. I think, I think we're tired. I think Jared's gotten two fights in, so I feel like he's ready to go home. It's like, yeah, you know, I am totally less sad about my wife dying now. Oh no, and Leon's in distress. Leon has a stinky diaper. Come on, Jared, get home soon to change his diaper, and let's bathe Leon and snuggle him and play with him. Because, like, we're going off of the canon that Jared doesn't really know that Leon's not his kid. And Agnes... You, you can stop talking to your mirror. Oh, little wiggles. Mm, these feel weird from her pregnancy. Oh, that's adorable. Connor, do not take care of Leon. You can, like, interact with your own daughter, though. But he wants to kiss Agnes. You know what you could do, too? You could continue writing your book. It's a chat with Agnes, and he wants to kiss her. And Agnes wanted to woohoo him earlier. Let's make sure she washes her hands after using the toilet. Very important. All right, and now Jared's gonna go wash little Leon. See how that goes. And Agnes has finished her painting. It's just kind of yellow. Does anyone like yellow in this household? No, well, I like yellow, but it can go in your inventory to have a painting to deliver to the hall. And make another medium painting, please. Oh, let's see how this goes. Just dunk him in, still with his wrap on. It's kind of cute, honestly. Then we can page up. And let's place baby in that little th activity. And then Jared can shower. Or honestly, Claire's walking out. Honestly, I feel like he can honor the ancestors, shower, and then he can have some leftover stew surprise. I mean, so how are you doing? You look like you're doing all right. Do you want to play with the mirror, play with the agabus? Dude, that's the wrong place. No, cancel everything I told you to do. That's the wrong place. Pick up your baby and put them in the right place. I'm very picky about where my babies go. I don't know if you can tell that, but that's what I get the most angry about. Place baby. Oh, this Sim's too tired to do that. Okay, well, put him in the right crib. And then, you know, Jerry can just go to bed. <laughs> Jerry's just done. It's 7 p.m., we get that feeling. Oh, he's too tired to put the baby there, but he's not tired enough to not honor his ancestors. And we'll delete beat up Parker since, you know, we kind of already did that. 
And now Jared's feeling elated, even though he has so many negative moodlets. He just is having so much fun and is fulfilled and is comfy. It's And he's faithful. I don't like that there's too many good things going for him. He has like a whole rows of negative. He has two whole rows of negative and two whole rows of positive. And because of that, he's happy. Like, be more balanced. And now I think Agnes... We're going to do the classic thing of having her prepare something to eat. And we'll have Connor keep writing on his book. And once Agnes, she's upset about Vita too. She's elated too. Once Agnes finishes eating, we can send everyone, we can send Connor to eat with them. And we'll see how it goes. And I got drinks so everyone could toast to Vita. We'll do that later, I guess. I also need to clean this counter. Okay. Also, I know that Jared made some money today. So I want to go quickly to see how much he made. And since that was in the last video, I should be able to just decipher that like right away without any issues. I'm just viewing it. Nope, I can't view it right now. Honestly, sounds like The Sims. But Connor's writing his book well. Oh, you're hungry. Well, Jared is just, you know, he's just sleepy right now. So he can get up and he can, you know, give you a bottle and he can snuggle with you. And once you're in his arms, he can hopefully go ahead and put you in the little floor thing, which is where I want you to be. Come on. Now we can place baby. And then I want to see how Honor the Ancestors works. I think that's very interesting. See, now you're taking care of with your hunger. That's so good. This item is technically from the store, but I have the mod version because it does something special. Oh, because it does actual movement and it actually looks like they're playing. Oh, I'm pretty sure you have to... Jared? Jared, turn on. Oh, you just got teleported down the stairs, as you do. Agnes to pay for time off, and so is Jared. All right, he just had an error trap. And now he wants to join the criminal Khmer and become a business partner. Okay, man. Can you honor the ancestors, my guy? Wait, actually, since you're downstairs, it would be great if you could grab a bowl. Actually, Connor, can you also grab a bowl, please? Jared's so confused. Jared says he wants to join the criminal community. He wants to join law enforcement. And Agnes has finished eating. Don't put Leon in crib. Let him enjoy life, Agnes. You can, you can drink juice and do a painting while you wait for your husband to, you know do some stuff, and then you two can talk and bond. Doing well in school is really important. What do you say? Be intrigued. I'm not sure which one of you it is, but I'm, yeah, it's Connor, who had the wish to talk to his wife. He can console her. And Jared, do you have the same thing? Can you cry on your brother's shoulder? And Agnes is having kicking from her child. Communication is a must for Sims. Yeah, absolutely. It keeps things from, you know, big fights happening. Are you having electric stuff on your chest, man? Clean up your dishes. And Agnes wants to tell Connor a funny story. Okay, come on, Connor. And Jared desperately needs to take a shower. Or, you know, at least change. Oh, he says his hygiene's better because everything reset. That's why. And he can't change clothes while he's stinged. So I guess he does have to take a shower to get that better. Okay. You know, cancel listen to story and then interact. Or don't, you know. Jared, you're the one who's currently responding to me. So go up here and honor the ancestors. You, you're telling me er we error trapped, Jared. Okay, honor the ancestors, my guy, please. He wants to join the medical career now. Join the journalism career. You know, it seems that whenever I try to get him to interact with this, that's when he's reset. Is that like a joke? I don't know. But I'm not going to take any more chances. Jared, we click on the thing. You can practice dummy time with Leon. Oh, that's so cute. Absolutely go for that. And Agnes is who we really have to reset. So we've reset Agnes and she's crying. So she can go to her husband and, you know, cry on his shoulder. Be like, this woman that I barely know died. Connor's feeling the same way. Agnes is sad. I don't know how to handle this. And she's gonna cheer him up and be like, well, you know, it had to happen eventually. 
death is a natural part of life or something. And she can be like, how about you feel my tummy? That's so cute. What they're doing there. That's adorable. I'm sure there's like a cuter screenshot. He's like a little worm. <laughs> a genuine and original piece of art can inspire and render people speechless, right? Yep. And he's cheered up from Agnes. Oh, and she drank on her pregnancy. Oh no. You know what? It's just sugar. And Connor also wanted to kiss his wife. And I also kind of want to ask them about their religion. Announce news of pregnancy to Connor. You already felt my tummy, but I'm pregnant. I'm going to be a father. Yes. Oh, that's amazing. Connor, go to religion. Ask about religion to Agnes. Agnes wants to join the medical career. Okay. Let's go to religion and ask Connor. It's like, are you religious, Connor? Connor's going to be like, yeah, that's a good question. I am not religious. Okay. I don't know how to set these things. I, I really just installed the mod, but I'm, I'm very curious. Do you know what goes together? Me and you. I love you. And now it says that Agnes is going to relax in bed. And Connor's just like, okay, cool. That's how I feel a lot of the time too, Connor. Just things are happening. It is 11. The stereotypical, I am horrible putting my sons to bed. Connor, take out your daughter. Pick up Irisa. And while we're waiting for that, we can have Jared finish with the tummy time and put Leon in crib and then he can go to bed. What are we doing? So it says that Agnes is calling Connor over to try for baby. So he just put on this backpack and he's about to get in bed with his pregnant wife with his backpack with a daughter on. I'm just, you know, I'm just gonna stop this. I'm gonna stop this. And uh, we're gonna sit and feed Irisa. You know, oh, and Agnes also wants to have a girl. We should save that. I'm, I'm going to save it over chatting with Irisa because we're going to chat with her a lot anyways. You know, we can do that. Agnes, you are a little bit tired, so I do want you to go to bed. Jared, you're going to bed. Leon's good. <laughs> Let's see how this uh, feeding interaction goes. I do want to see that. I think it'll be cute. We have to go to the fridge first and get some food. What do we get? We just grab something. Does it go in our inventory? Nope, it's just a fake thing. Got you, got you. Oh, we can sit down in just a regular armchair. And we can put her on our lap. And we can spoon feed her. That's so cute. I love that. Okay, we're gonna get Iris to bed. And we're gonna take care of her. Vita died. That's a lot. Jared's gonna be raising Leon like his son. Because, you know, technically he hasn't found out that Leon's not his. Comment baby names, comment book names. Tell us how you feel about Vita's sudden passing. A like, a subscribe, a comment means so much. Just watching means so much. So thank you for watching and I hope you have a good day. Bye-bye.